Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Stalker Gamma Monolith run, where we are playing Roximp, the Monolith. Last time we started out in Pripyat, it was the first episode, so we did a few starter missions, went into Jupiter twice, did a few missions around there, found a very interesting monolith loot box. Uh, well, not monolith, but uh, a loot box given to us by the Wish Granter. We found it in a stash. Unfortunately, we can't open it without a special key, so we're just gonna do more missions until we find one of those. So we ended up in Red Forest. And uh, our main mission right now is to go to army warehouses and we will have to kill someone here. Now, I'm not sure how that will go, but let's find out. Right, so let's do a quick weapons check. I have very few bullets remaining. We are completely out of rubles, but our armor is still in pretty good shape. So hopefully we'll... Why are there loners here? Don't... Oh, wow. Definitely take that. And I mean, it's in better condition generally, so we'll take this one. Okay. I have no idea why loners keep spawning in here. And the Sim guys are just chill with it. Alright, so we will have to kill someone over to the right by the bridge. <sighs> that was not good. healed for now. But that that was really bad. I I wasn't paying attention at all where I was going. Also very, very early in the morning for me. All recording this, so I haven't fully woken up. I haven't finished my coffee. But I'm just gonna blame that. Red Forest, as you all know, is one of the most hated places in the zone. It's full of uh, very, very angry mutants. It has very bad visibility. And is generally a very scary place. Who the hell is that? Okay, it is a merc. I think it's actually our target. Let's go nice and easy. I'll try to sneak up on him. And remember, we are playing Iron Man. We have about four lives, but even so, I don't want to just throw them away. But we'll try to survive as much as possible. Someone is fighting. Yeah, the, the Mercs just killed two people. And I'm not sure I have enough bullets to deal with them. Okay, yeah, there is a lot of Mercs there. But I'm pretty sure a couple of them are just patrols. Let's try and get in a bit closer. Yeah. 
good, not good, not good. You gotta reload here. So there's a guy with a shotgun and there's a guy with some type of automatic weapon. Okay, we got one. And there's another one there. I just heard some, some mutant out there. Okay, where's the third one I killed? Okay, the good thing is, Vinka actually heals our torso nearly to full, so we will do a Vinka and an Ibuprofen. And that should get us healed up just enough. I will eat chocolate just to get the edge off that hunger there. Anyone on the bridge? No, it's here. Oh, a Unisig. Take that, thank you. Alright, got an eye broken, that's pretty good. And I did hear the mercs deal with two people. It means there should be another corpse around here, probably another unisig. Oh yes. Nothing we can right now. Right, we'll just keep on going and uh, see where it takes us. Right, we should remember we have a stim pack now, which is very good. And I'm just going down here because there is a stash. I can check it for a loot box, maybe. Alright, this street here is always very iffy. Another Unisig. I don't think I have anything to repair my weapon with. That's going to be a little bit of a problem. Now, if these mercs go into the red forest, they're gonna just die. But it seems they're heading this way. Or is it just me? I need to pull somewhere behind cover. Yep. 
Yep, he's here. I think I saw him. Just stay here, we'll wait and be patient. Now, I'm pretty sure he wasn't alone. Yep. That's one cool thing. They couldn't, can't actually shoot through the gate. Right, and that's gonna be the last of my meds. There were only two in the patrol, luckily. And we got some more ammo. But, uh, oh boy. Right, that's pretty cool. If only it had a good barrel. Another one dead here. Two of them actually. Grab all of that and standard gold. Okay, so now the question is, why keep going to the south and try to finish the main mission? I could try and sneak around there, or or do I head back, try to do some more missions and get a little bit of gear? very low on bullets. Very, very low. Oh! Those guys spotted me. Are they fighting each other? Yeah. these guys fighting right I'm completely out of meds Added loot box. Okay, so at this point, I'm I'm just gonna cut my losses and head home. And we're here, brain scorcher. It's 
so weird being in here and not completely crapping myself because there's monolith around. Unfortunately, rats are still a thing. And there will be still be high level mutants behind that fence over there. And I'm not sure if we have any friendlies around. Yeah, you, you heard that, right? That's footsteps over there. Not sure if it's a pseudo-giant or a bure. And I don't want to find out, so... Let's be on our way. All right, and here is our stash. Okay, artifact melter. That's not a bad thing. We have a rifle case, 90% lock difficulty. That's... We're not gonna open that anytime soon. And an Ash-12, which unfortunately is completely broken. But we'll just take the silencer off of that. So, this usually gives a good weapon in very good condition long rifle so it's gonna be either a uh, sniper rifle or a um, automatic rifle but 90% lock difficulty we're gonna need a full lock picking set just to open that thing which really sucks that's 30,000 rubles just to open that that case And we're not sure what we'll find in it. There are other stashes around here. Okay. I decided we're gonna go straight into the Red Forest. And we'll see how we do. Right, Red Forest. We have very limited ammo. I'm not hearing any mutants at the moment. But there's usually dogs at this spawn point. This is so, so risky. Right. Zombies, we'll just run around those. We don't want to be wasting our, our bullets on zombies. There's a pseudo giant out there as well. Uh, we don't have enough bullets to deal with that. Okay. I mean, that's, that's a pretty good outcome, I think. Ooh. You know what? I wasn't sure about the PP 2000, but um, really, I think I hit a vine. But uh, I am starting to gain more and more respect for the PP. That is a boar. Um, I 
are your friendly? Yes. Okay. Oh no. Right, hide behind the sinners. And let's see if they can take out a pseudo giant. Oh no 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 you're not getting me. Not sure if there's anyone here. We do have to make our way around, so at this point, the pseudo giants engage with someone else, so let's just make a run for it. That's another sinner. For a moment I thought it's a controller and I am your shit myself again. Oh, we should be safe here. Uh, we are FMJ and yeah, there are sinners there. Uh, doing their little uh, sinner dance. Double-checking for loners. Um, I mean, a bow wasn't really needed, but thanks. Okay. So, the job is done. And our next mission is to meet with Rabbit. I don't know who the hell Rabbit is. Oh, we gotta go back to Pripyat. <clears throat> Perfect. So... We're gonna make our way north, back to Jupiter. We're gonna try and get this stash right here. And we'll head back to Pipiat, maybe spend the night, and then there is another mission in the outskirts to deal with some renegades. It's close to the port. And also, in the way, there's another monolith base, so it could be a very good place to get some missions. Now the question is, do I want to keep the artifact melter, or do I sell it? It is very heavy, but it could also be very useful. On the other hand, it's 3000 rubles and we will find others. And right now we need money more than anything else. Yeah. Do you have some bullets for us? Ah, yes. What? I'll, I'll take both. Okay, I'll take a few, then both. <laughs> Perfect. Blim. I should also be looking for a an upgrade for our knife, so we can start looting these high-level mutants. Right, so... Killing mutants north of the tunnel camp, that's probably not gonna happen. The tunnel is where the pseudo-giant was. Of course, all of them offer the same deal. Kill duty in Jupiter? We could do that. And we have a mercenary faction pa we have six mercenary faction patches, so I'm gonna take that one as well. Or just some quick money. And we get the beacon. Wow! That is completely useless, and I'm just gonna turn around and sell it immediately. 
I mean, we could have kept it in case one of the guys wanted it for a mission, but honestly, yeah. Oh, shut up. Okay, let's see if we can deal with these bandits now. I want to check how many there are. Maybe wait for them to come a bit closer. Oh, he's he's underneath. Oh. Yeah, that's that's on me. Oh, there's another one here. But where? He's underneath us somewhere. Oh, there he is. Ah, you know what I say. When it's out, push the bandit. Nice. <clears throat> Made it all the way up into the northern zone with an SKS and a toss. Gotta love bandits. Crazy fuckers. Right, so our real prize here is not the bandit loot. Bandit loot's not bad either. But, the real price to be had here is all the meds around there. But we're gonna have to do a fent, because we took quite a bit of damage. <clears throat> there was another bandit here. Did I not pick up? Oh, there we go. Right. Uh, I... Did I not use one of these? <laughs> right, it heals very little for the torso. We need some more Venka. Okay, so... Let's see if this was worth it. Bad protectant... Venka. Speaking of which, Vinka does really good post heals on the torso. You should always carry a little bit. They're pretty cheap. Cigarettes, more rat protectant, Yadelin, and I'm not sure what that last thing was. 
And we should also check inside the truck. Sometimes there are things here. And this time there aren't. Still, I'd say that was pretty good. Alright, oh, there's a stash right there. We're gonna go for that as well. I just wanna double check here. Because there's sometimes mutants, other times there's mercs. And I just realized we're very, very hungry. Luckily, I bought a couple of beef tushankas when I went back to base. that stash go oh wow another weapon case case very happy though and the artifact melter all right um i will take it but to make up for it um let's check this before i forget South of the Concrete Path Anomaly. Where is that? Oh, it's right behind us. Perfect, we'll grab that one as well. Right, so... <clears throat> to make up for this, I'm just gonna disassemble all of our ammo. To make a little bit of space. Okay, so we managed to make our way back here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and dump everything in our stash here. I'm gonna sell the artifact melter again. just not worth keeping. Okay, a lot of upgrades. And our stash is now full. Which really sucks. <laughs> okay, let's get that back and I'm gonna drop these weapon crates in a different stash, I think. I'll have to find one first, of course. Okay, sell that. Could actually sell these for a pretty good amount of money, but no. <laughs> I'm really curious what's in them. Okay, so meet with rabbit. So crolic means rabbit? That's interesting. Right, I've come to see you. I must lead my brothers into battle. Right, freedom in Jupiter. At the cement factory. Um, where, where are the brothers that I need to lead into battle though? Right, so apparently he he forgot one of the main ingredients of leading the brothers into battle, and uh, that's more specifically the actual brothers. The Eidolon documents. He got a bit more money. And let's see what missions we've got to do. Firefly artifact, duty faction patches. Just... I mean, sh sure, sure. I'll, I'll give you my weapon. Never. Yeah, they want a lot of mutant parts, but 
I don't end up fighting a lot of mutants here. Maybe I should. Also, it's not counting the stash. From what I've noticed. Because we do have one flesh meat and one dog meat. Okay, let's grab these. Now let's see what we actually have. Okay, it's just the flesh meat. We'll hold on to the rest. And you know what? Can I maybe buy a stash? Nope, oh, we could just buy this box and we will. And I'll just drop all of the loot box stuff in it. Got a max of 100 kilos, which is not bad. We're going to use that, I think, or this. Right, we are actually in a good place with ammo right now, which is pretty amazing. Wow, 500 rubles, wow. Oh, dead lurker. That's good. Oh! Okay. And that was our first death. Yeah, I was so focused on following the renegades and uh, looting that lurker. I completely missed the Unisig guys over there. And as you saw, I don't think there was much I could have done. Maybe try to run out as fast as I can. But I, I just I just didn't see them. So let's check our Iron Man status. We have three lives, but we will get one more life. Um, we will get one more life from the life grantor soon. Not hearing anything at the moment. So, as always. Oh, a little bit of money in a, in a stash. That's good. If I remember right, there is supposed to be another stash up here, which we can check. Oh, that's actually the stash we were looking for. Okay. I don't see anyone in there. We risk taking a peek. Yeah, let's let's do it. What's in there? Okay, no. <laughs> so that controller has been there since the start of the game, and we. We don't want to engage with it. 
also probably why there aren't any other enemies in there. Okay, what is that? That is a clear sky. We didn't see us yet. But we're going to do a funny little thing here and... Wait for him to approach. Is that an exosuit? No. He hasn't seen us yet. Oh, now he did. Pull back, pull back. Yep, he's definitely an enemy. Right. And he had a Chimera Hunter. Luckily, Clear Sky Exosuits completely suck. So, um, that's, that's on him. Okay, right now I'm looking up there and there is a legendary freedom. And we actually have to kill that guy. And I think I see someone else there. Okay, so we're gonna have to approach from this side below. I still have no idea how we're gonna do this. Are there any mutants there? If we could use some mutants as a distraction, it would be amazing. Also, catching him on the stairs would be very good. I am going to... Take this. Just because I think we will definitely need some damage reduction if we're doing this. Also, I'm going to have to take one of these. Because it's usually very radioactive up there. Right. Can we shoot through the floor? Not really. But if we can't, he can't either. Oh, never mind. Apparently he can't. gonna do this he's up there he's just waiting for us 
and I think he has the advantage in a long distance fight. Okay, the stairs do give us some cover here. Okay, do a quick check around. I think it was just him. And he had... Nah, useless. I'm not gonna carry the charcoal around. Okay, all in all, not bad. Okay, so the job is done. And we have a new mission to meet with Cleric. And he asks us for an AK 7 or U. So we can build our up our mighty arsenal. To achieve our glorious goals, he just doesn't say what the goals are <laughs> uh, but um, you know what who are we to ask what the monolith's goals are I'm sure cleric knows he's higher up than us so he he must have a better connection with the monolith than we do right tell everything we don't need including the coffee um still don't have enough to get a set of lockpicks, which is pretty annoying. But, have these, which sell for quite a bit, so we could afford to get a full set of lockpicks right now. We're good on meds. I mean, good-ish, but with the Fent and Yadlin, we should make it a bit longer. So, you know what? I'll take one set of lockpicks. We also have some uh, more backup lockpicks in case we need them right here. And let's open. I'm going to open the padded loot box as well. And it doesn't matter which. We'll just take one of these. Also, to the guy that uh, told me about being able to pick locks uh, to disable animations. For some reason, I couldn't find that option last time in the mod list, but thank you for that. It uh, really helps us out a lot because I don't have to reload the game because of having that uh, annoying bug every time. Right, so we got antibiotics, which they are amazing. Always keep one of these on you at all times. It will help you avoid the missions. And one beef tushanka, which is also pretty good. And the box of res two boxes of resistors. Right now, the moment of truth. Let's open the big weapon case. <laughs> oh my god. So apparently we have a thing about weapons that end in 2000. Because we have a PP, but now we also have an FN. I'm going to swap them around. And I'm going to take off the suppressor, fill up our lockpicks again, oh boy. <coughs> this is not the weapon I was hoping for, unfortunately. Um, it, it's, it's just not, not the best weapon. <laughs> I'm mostly scared about the big Chimera and controller packs that usually go around here. Because those things will take out a fully geared end game player with no problem. 
me, I still have the starter armor. You'll have... Well, I do have the PP, which is apparently really good, but... Yeah, we could deal with one Chimera. Maybe two, but if uh, three of them come at us at the same time, we are extremely dead. Okay, finally, we have the advanced tools. We got a survival cache. Seva suit. Better than what we've got. It is uh, medium armor, which is pretty good. Take this apart. Okay, let's do a little comparison here. Seva suits got 19 weight carry two belt slots. Well, wait, nah. So this one has more BR class, but the same resistance and uh, four BR after 35, I don't think matters. The Seva suit has just better all around resistances. Especially RADs. 16 rupture and impact. Yeah, we're taking the Clear Sky Seva suit, taking the other one apart. We finally have advanced tools, which is huge. Okay, so. We managed to do quite a lot this episode, so we're gonna end it right here gonna do a quick little recap we started out in the sin mines we were going to go south to army warehouses to finish one of the main missions but we just didn't have enough ammo we did kill a couple of mercs looted some unisig killed a couple of clear sky then we were a bit short on both meds and ammo so we went back to Pripyat grabbed a couple more missions, went to Jupiter, died once, unfortunately, but the life granter gave us another life, so we still have four lives on our Iron Man run. We managed to grab a few stashes, including some uh, two big weapon boxes, which was pretty cool. Made our way down to Radar, back to Red Forest, back to Jupiter, back to Pipiat. Went to the outskirts, grabbed the yellow stash, which gave us advanced tools, which we now have, and it's really amazing. Opened one of the big weapon crates, got an FN2000, uh, an FNF2000, so the game likes to give us stuff that end in 2000. Also got a Seva suit for, from Clear Sky. Uh, which we will have to fix up, but we just can't afford to do it right now. So we're going to have to see if we can get a few more missions to get some more money, because we are currently poor as dirt. But we have meds, we have ammo, we have food, so we're in a good place. Next episode, we're going to have to try to find an AK-74U, which I can't even start thinking where we could find one. So the 74U is, um, do the mercs have it? I honestly have no idea, but I'm going to look into it for the next episode and uh, we're going to try and find one. I would like to go do outskirts a bit more because it's a very um, good zone to farm. Unfortunately, kind of hard with all the mutants. And yeah, we're just going to have to do enough missions to um, get a bit more money and fix up our suit. And of course, look for more stashes and get our expert tools because we do want to get into the big juicy stuff, like uh, maybe a 9x39 weapon. But this was it for this episode. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment, it helps out the channel a lot. And as always, I will see you all next time.